Uh, how do you want to style it? Yeah, just say like. <laughs> <laughs> that works. Hi, so my name is Brian. This is Samara. <laughs> and we are going to be doing some work on the Jeep here. 1990-ish. <laughs> no, it, it's, <laughs> yeah, I guess it's technically an 89. 1990 Jeep Comanche wiring harness dash replacement. We're actually going to be doing a number of things. We're going to be changing the wiring harness out. We're going to be putting AC in it. We're going to be changing the dash and the intake and a bunch of stuff. And it's really windy, so it's going to be fun. <laughs> yeah, hopefully we can sit inside it. This is the gauge package. My original one didn't have that. And there's not a lot of videos out there on that. Um, you just have to find one, or find a gauge cluster that is from the same year. Um, this one is actually also out of a manual Cherokee, so it switches across really nicely. And I just had to change out my oil pressure sensor from the stupid switch to a pressure sensor. And I believe my temperature sensor, I that would have been changed too. So we're going to take all this out again and it's going to get changed again to all the new stuff. And to get this out, on the back side, oh bunnies on the back. Oh, she just wants in. She's on the roof. Helps if you're pressing on the right piece. Hey, okay, that is my dash. Or the cage cluster, I guess. So this one is a cable drive, and that's for the speedometer. We're actually going to be, that'll get changed out to electronic. So that's one of the sensors I needed for the transfer case. Oh, so, another piece that is that oh, tight. Where are you going? <laughs> so in case anybody has ever had issues with the headlight switch, which I did, and for the longest time, I just kind of suffered with it. I don't know, made it work. Because <laughs> I couldn't figure out for the longest time how to actually get the damn thing out. And the funny thing is, when I first started working with this truck, a lot of, a lot of videos on how to do this stuff simply didn't exist. So you either tried to figure it out on your own, or if you were lucky enough to work at a dealership, you could get the service manual. I didn't either. I just kind of dealt with it. This is the actual headlight switch. And with this era of Jeep, there's no, no fuse or relay for the lights. It's all controlled through this. And this is your dimmer switch and your headlight switch. And what happens is I believe it's this one and this one that control your headlights. Maybe, I don't know, that's one of them. Anyways, they melt and then the contacts don't work properly anymore because all the current from the headlight is going through this. Most newer vehicles now, it's all controlled through a relay so it's not as bad. This era, and I believe up to 95, uses the, these instead. And if you've ever tried to figure out how to get them out, it's it's stupid and kind of simple at the same time. So on the bottom, most the biggest thing that I couldn't figure out is how to get this thing out. Because it doesn't just pull out. And there's a little, little lock ring in behind it. So 
So there's this thing that actually holds it into the dash. And I could always see it, but I could never figure out how to get to it. Because this guy's in the way, so you, you can't. And many years later I looked and I found out there's a button on the bottom. And I wish I'd have found it, but I never really looked at it. I just wiggled the plug and it worked. But when it's in there, with this guy in, if you push up on the bottom, and there's a little hole there that you can get your finger all the way up in there, you push it up. So I found you kind of got to rotate it a little bit, and then it comes out. And with it in there, you just use a flat screwdriver to undo the uh, little lock ring. And once that guy's out, you can shift it backwards and pull it out. I found it's easier with the dash out because then you get to everything, but if you can't get the dash out, if you don't want to take it apart, you you can do it from underneath. It's just, it's a horrible pain. And my truck spent most of the time with the dash with all the screws and everything else, so it's easy for me to pop it out. So if anybody's wondering on how to do that, best thing I ever learned how to do. Okay, so I want to pull the dash away, so, oh, and the bunny's on the back again. There's screws up here that you have to take out, and then there's bolts at the bottom. So we're just gonna struggle to take this out. <laughs> part of the dash out with much struggle as the screws were hard to get to. <laughs> they were. Not okay, so now we're gonna remove this whole thing. It's gonna be fun. So we got two bolts on either side we gotta take out or just loosen. We got all the little bolts up here. I don't think this is going to be very much of an instructional thing, just us doing it. <laughs> oh, wow. What? It all comes out as one. Yep. That's Oh yeah, see, look right there. There's another one squished. Just poor design. Yeah, they're just not in a very good spot. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Now, to take out the wiring harness from under here. Cleaning my brake booster. <laughs> <sighs> yep, I guess I did. Woohoo! Look at that. What is that looks fucking That's nasty. I guess the tape. 
folding the clips and then I can reuse them. Remember when I was having issues with the fuel pump? Yeah. So what it was, was this right here was underneath the rod. Oh. And it broke through the wire. So I had to fix it. always looks black. So here's one of the reasons why we're doing this. This is the harness that wraps around the front and controls the lights and a bunch of other shit. That's the new one. Do you, are you starting to see like why I've always wanted to do this? Yeah, that's a lot of excess shit that we don't need. Assembly time. So this one has all the AC and everything in it. The old one is sitting out there. You can answer me. How exactly one installs a heater box from the outside? Um, probably the way you're about to do it. Apparently so. because you kind of got to tighten them all up together. Oh, that's weird. I think I got to go inside and do one in there. That's a new dash to go in. Um, so this little bracket is what holds the brake switch and the clutch and a bunch of other stuff. And it's a little bit different than the new one. So it's still all apart, but we got. <laughs> He's just excited. <laughs> so we got the new heater control box in there. That one's got AC, so that'll be nice. And I had to take that bracket. It was way down in here. So we gotta switch that out. Uh, that's a new fuse box. And the new wiring harness is in here. And we're gonna go through to the other one. Way over there. And pull out the new bracket. Oh yeah, and we're getting rid of this guy too. No more speedo cable. It's all gonna be electronic. Stay tuned. Now we have the fun of reassembling everything. So we've changed out the bracket down here. So we got our new sensor in here for the brake lights. This was the old one. They're a crappy piece of junk that GM never should have came out with. If anybody knows what this is, they know exactly why they suck. They're almost impossible to get adjusted properly. So we got this all changed out. Our pedals and everything all hooked back up. Now we're just gonna Try and get some venting in here and 
maybe route it a little bit better so it's not squished. There's no way that goes down below. Alrighty, so we've been busy. We got dashes all in. Took a bit, but we're there. We got a new cover piece up there. Just got it screwed in. Wiring harness is in. We found a few squished vent lines. We fixed those, so we're gonna have defrost again. We got all our wiring down here. Might not look like it, but if you watch the video start to finish, you'll see it's a big difference. A couple things I had to change back from what I originally had. Um, I got to change this guy back out. This is the fuel pump and tail light control harness. This is the old one down here that I actually have to take all out. I had to change out. My door light switches, they're a little different, which works out because, oh, the cat's leaving. He doesn't want to help anymore. Um, or maybe he's camera shy. Who knows? <laughs> uh, let's see here. Just trying to get this thing out of here, but that's not really that important right now. So, we just got to get that all out and it runs to the back and to there. We got this huge mess. It's hard to kind of actually see what's going on here, but this is body control, this is my dash harness, the ECM harness, everything. It's all right here. I'm gonna take the grill off. That's the old dash. It's red. It's gray. It's the old gauge cluster, it's the bracket for the computer, that's the old computer. Right, so we got under the hood, we got, that's the new computer. I had to take my snorkel out for the time being, I gotta move that. Some new harness is in there. So we run across to the other side. This is the AC pump. So I gotta change out a couple things I'm not sure what I wanna do here yet, because I don't know. I want to try and run the old bracket if I can, but we'll see if I can't. And if I have to run the new one, I will. It's probably probably the smarter thing to do. Just means I got to push that bearing out and a bunch of other stuff that was a pain. Uh, fuel injectors are all hooked up, but they're gonna come disconnected because I got to change the intake out to the newer style. I just wanted the plugs in place for right now. Hopefully you can hear, but I'm not sure what the mic is on this guy. Got all this stuff in, just all routed in nicely. And the other thing we're gonna do, a while back I hit a tree on this corner. And as you can see, 
the fender buckled in a little bit. And ever since then, my headlight has been pointed down, which I gotta say, oh sweet, I was wondering where that was. This is for my fog light, if I remember correctly. Horn should come on a little bit more. I think, I'm pretty sure it is. That guy might be for the horn, I don't know. I'll have to go through the hands book. But back to the fender and the headlight thing. So this headlight's been pointed down. I have adjusted up, but it's not enough. So if you look, you can see this bracket right here, or this frame is bent in. So I'm gonna straighten that out too, a little bit. Got the AC rod is all in there. So I'm gonna attach that back down. And you can see how this side is nice and square. And it's not so yeah keep following along I guess all right so just a quick update just finished off pulling that guy back out and now we're gonna put the front grill and everything back on so uh, stay tuned Final product. Still have to change the door panels, but uh... mm -hmm. what do you think? I love it. <laughs> Worth it? Worth it.